This evening, our province is breathing a collective sigh of relief as Miles Sanderson is no longer at large. I can confirm that he is no longer a threat and there is no risk to the public related to this investigation. I'm going to provide a timeline of the events that occurred this afternoon that led to his arrest. On Wednesday, September 7th at 2.07 p.m., Waka RCMP received a 911 report of a break and enter in progress in Waka's detachment area. Further information provided stated Miles Sanderson was standing outside of a residence northeast of Waka and was armed with a knife. Sanderson stole a white Chevrolet Avalanche truck with Saskatchewan license plate 953 LPL and fled the property. The homeowner was not physically injured. At approximately 3.30 p.m., the suspect vehicle was seen traveling south on Highway 11, south of Roster. To ensure the safety of drivers on the highway, the vehicle was directed off the road and into a nearby ditch. Police officers surrounded the vehicle and through verbal identification, confirmed the identity of the driver to be Miles Sanderson. He was arrested by police and taken into custody. A knife was located inside the vehicle. Shortly after his arrest, he went into medical distress. Nearby, EMS were called by police to attend the scene and he was transported to a hospital in Saskatoon. He was pronounced deceased at the hospital. And there's no, nothing about motive? No, and, and unfortunately, you know, um, now that Miles is deceased, we may never have an understanding of that motivation. And we're, we've conducted 120 interviews to this point. There's more uh, that we have to do, but you know, witnesses and people around him only have so much information. His motivation may at this time and forever only be known to Miles.